I want to talk about the Summit Refuge 3P, because I'm sure after this presentation, you guys are probably already placed place in your orders, and, and that's cool, but you do have to know how to use it. So here are some pointers. First of all, you have to pitch it in a spot that drains. Now, you need to pitch any tent in a spot that drains, of course. But when you don't have a floor, maybe it's a little bit more important if you're in for one night. If you're in for more than one night and you pitch in a spot that doesn't drain, you're screwed. I don't care what you have underneath you because it's eventually going to get through. Look for Heather. You know, if you know what Heather is, find out what Heather is. Look it up on the internet. It's, it's a green, kind of evergreeny looking plant. It's about this tall. It grows on the ground. Heather doesn't grow in swamps. Pitch on Heather. It's a good indication you're in a good spot. Okay, next important point. It has to be a taut pitch, a tight pitch. Get those walls tight as a drum where you, you hit it and you can, it, it's like, it's tight like a drum. It has to be a tight pitch. On a single wall shelter, on any shelter for that matter, if you get wrinkles, there's gonna be condensation. That's just part of the game. But the nice thing is with 65 square feet, Condensation doesn't matter. You're not rubbing up against the walls. You got so much room in there, you don't need to touch the walls. Any shelter has condensation. Your two wall has tons of condensation, but you have an inner wall that keeps you from touching the outside wall where the condensation is. With a single wall, you simply don't have that inner wall that you bump up against that keeps you from touching the condensation. The condensation's still there, but it's big enough where it's better than having an inner wall because you got like three feet. I'd rather have three feet than, than an inner wall protecting me from that. But if you pitch it where it's not taut, then those wrinkles will start to develop droplets of condensation and it will start to drip a little bit. It's not the end of the world. A few drops isn't gonna kill you. And I have been in certain positions where I'm pitching in extremely uneven ground where one side has some wrinkles and this and that. It's not that big of a deal. You get a few drops, no big deal. If you make a perfectly taut pitch, you get zero drops. 